Hello, my name is Sean, and we're going to do on the subject of iPhone. So the iPhone looks like this. You get six symbols here. One of them is the birds, angry birds, with a back button that you can go back, the messages, the photos, Tinder, a dial up, and finally the settings where this is where you submit your answer here. So, to start off, we're going to get the edge work because this module does require some edge work. So, let's see here. We got three and two. So we're going to solve this normally. No, we're not going to do a diffuser yet. So, let's just start that with that. So, we got a DVI and RCA. We got PS2, RJ, RCA, and finally DV, DVI, RCA. The serial number is 4 Hotel 9 Charlie X Ray 9. So, let's see, I gotta copy that. Okay. So, we're actually gonna go this down to bottom. So we're off gonna start off with the birds, which is in the top of corner. And you'll get a bunch of random images. So for oh yeah, let me talk about this first. So the order of the pins are the pin digits are given is in this order, which is Angry Birds first, messages then photos, and finally tender. And the whole point of this is to get those four pin numbers and to enter them in here. So to start off, we're going to do Angry Birds. So you'll be present with four character buttons. These buttons will be one of the following images. And of course, they're mostly pigs. To obtain the pin digit, you must press the correct button in coordinates with the below instructions. Pressing the wrong button will cause a strike, of course. So, upon correct pressing the correct button, three stars will appear in the first digit. So, let's start. If there are more birds than pigs, which is not true because we got four pigs, otherwise, if there are more pigs than birds, we're going to go to B. So, we're actually going to use column B. When it refers to a letter, it goes to column B for it. And then we're going to go through each of these rows to see which one's right. If there are three or more batteries, which we do, we have three and two, and we go here. So we have G as our next one. Then we go to the table GHI using column G. If each button is unique, uh, that's a positive. So we're going to press the bottom left. And when we do, we get three stars and a little number there. Keep track of that number. Now record that. Of course, you can actually always go back to it and it will be still stored there. So you don't have to really record it in, but make sure you write it down for keep's sake. So in the next order of things, we're going to go to messages after birds are done. So here you receive four messages by Phil, Rob, Mick, and Andy, and they always go in that order. One of these messages is true, and the only one that's true is going to be the one that matches in the table under that name. So, Phil says zero. Does only the num does zero or at least number appear in Phil's troops? No, only the second number is number. Not sure, maybe number or number mate. So let's go to Robin. The second number is three. Does Rob in his truth table say that? No, he says, he says number, and he says number is the second number, then I think it is number. Okay, let's go to Mick. So Mick says seven is the second number. Does Mick say that in his true table? No, he says it's number. Number? No, yes, number. And then number... So, it's probably going to be Andy, because he's the last one there. And he says, five, you numpty. 
And yes, that is Andy's truth because it is, he does say number you numpty. So our second pin digit is five. Okay, after that, the next order, ooh, okay. The next order in our digits is going to be photos. So we're going to go all the way to photos and you'll see 10 different images. And to make this clear, we'll put out a 200 and see each one. So the one with the correct pin digit is going to be the one that exactly matches the picture. So let's open up images. So we have a computer, but the computer isn't slanted. Like in this picture, it's aimed right at you. So it can't be the computer. Then we have the Christmas tree image, which looks like this. But unfortunately, it's not the Christmas tree because the fireplace is to the left of the Christmas tree. So no dice. Next, we have the composer. The composer usually looks like this. Looks like it was painted and whatnot. Unfortunately, it can't be the composer because he's facing the left. Well, the composer is actually facing the right and actually has a nice bow tie. Next, we have a roast dinner. Unfortunately, it can't be the roast dinner because to highly indicate this, there's a towel in the roast dinner, as I've been told. So it can't be the roast dinner. Next, we have the football team. And from the looks of it, it's going to be the football team because it is exactly the football team. Usually the big indication is the coach or the one blue is standing right there in the second spot. So if you see a person wearing a blue shirt in the second spot on the higher ups, it's going to be the football team. So for the football team, it's number seven. Indicate with that number. The others, this is the rock band, but of course it's not the rock band because there's no guy with the poofy hair. And this is the Porsche. Unfortunately, the Porsche is facing right and has kind of a brick, or kind of like some type of rock wall behind it. And this is the castle, except the castle is kind of like in a forested area, more or less. And we're back to computer. So we got our third digit. And finally, we have to go to Tinder. Let's get out of this full screen. So, <clears throat> you'll see a Tinder profile, and use, we're going to use the below table to calculate the match score. So, for this, we're going to go for zero strikes, because we have no strikes so far. And here, the diffuser is going to tell us, well, Let's just solve it by hand. So first we're gonna go through age. So for Lisa, it, she is 40. So we find the age between 36 and 41 right here. So her current score is at a minus one. Her star sign is Leo. Leo over here is a plus two. So adding that up makes it a one. Next, she enjoys Batman, so we go under Hobbies and find Batman, which is a plus one. So we add one to that, and we get two. And finally, has a pet goldfish. And goldfish over here has a minus one. And leaves us with one as our answer for our total score. So... If the match score is positive, we're going to swipe right, which is basically the green heart. Okay, let's refresh it so we can have a nice clean start. So next we have Barb, who is 34, which is right there. So we're at a one so far. Uh, she's a Gemini, which is minus one. So we're at zero now. She enjoys clubbing, which is a plus two. And then finally has a pet dog, which is also a plus two, which gives us a score of four. So we're also going to swipe right on this or press the green heart. And finally, we're left with Megan, who is 41. Let's refresh. So we have 36 to 41, that's going to be a minus 1, who is a Leo, 
that's a plus two so that's going to be at a positive one now loves the theater that's a minus two so that brings us back to negative one again and has a pet cat which is a plus three which gives us two positive score which is we're gonna swipe right and then after all that we're gonna get the last and final pin which is a three so after that we're gonna go into the settings which is the bottom right and type in three five seven three and that's a solved module so for this next one we're going to talk about how we would include with the diffuser but first let's get edge work none on those sets so let's look at this zero and zero batteries we got a lit car lit SND unlit TRN oh, TRN uh, two port plates one has an RJ and PS2 the other one has a serial and find the serial number is 8 Bravo 2 X-ray Alpha 9 so usually diffuser knows which spots to hit first so we're gonna go to angry so diffuser knows what to go first. Just in case you miss it, okay, Angry Birds messages, photos, Tinder, which is left to right, top to bottom, which should be easy to remember. So let's click on Angry Birds. So the diffuser will tell us, okay, I got a helmet pig, a king pig, red Angry Bird, white Angry Bird. And he usually tells us in reading or left to right, top to bottom. So, after that, we go through the steps again. If there are more birds and pigs, no, their birds and pigs are equal. If there are more pigs than birds, no. If there's two of each, yes, we're going to go to C. If there are three or more batteries, no. If there are three or more indicators, yes, we have three indicators, which means we're going to go to K, which is right over here, Com K. If a regular pig and a white or blue angry pig are on top, are on the top row, let's see, a regular pig and a white or blue, no. Otherwise, if a black or red angry bird is below any pig yes we have a red angry bird below a pig so we have the helmet pig above the red we're gonna go through this row and we see okay uh, press the top right so the diffuser would tell us okay the first pin is a three <clears throat> so exit back out we go to messages all right so here I would actually like to do a back and forth type thing you know Phil's okay Phil says one and expert look at the filter is like next uh, three Rob says three you numpty no Mick says six is the second number no Andy says probably two that's the one and of course he won't say that because this is dense too as the recorded thing for more advanced the fusers, they would probably remember this table because, well, this is a pretty easy table to memorize and whatnot. So most often they'll just tell you the number or maybe the fuser will remember all the pin digits. It goes any way. There's a lot of options to go from here. Uh, for this one, again, more advanced people, the more advanced the fusers can tell by doing it a lot and a lot and a lot, which image it is. I could probably sc scroll through and tell you which one it is, which is the computer. I know exactly which one it is. But in case someone asks and whatnot, all right, I got a laptop. So if, in the case of the computer, I'm like, okay, it's specifically a laptop with pencils on the left. It's like, no. Uh, I got a football team with a coach on the very top left. I know yours is kind of a little bit hard, but he's in like one left from the top left. 
one right from the top of so I say no he's wearing yellow but if this was colored you know it would be blue it's like no that's definitely not it uh, Christmas tree there's a fireplace to the left no uh, beach has a lot of people and some no because the beach has two palm trees and whatnot uh, rock band has uh, three people mill guys poofy hair no uh, rock band again, four guys kind of look UK ish. <laughs> um, excuse me. <laughs> um, no. Uh, I got another computer with a keyboard, keyboard, and the this and the actual screen both pointing towards the right. I said, like, okay, that's probably it. That's the computer. So then the expert would record too and then finally we go to tinder so here they obviously going to tell you okay I, she's 44 is a Scorpio uh, enjoys badminton and has a pet goldfish so let's say 44 Scorpio badminton goldfish so, 44 is right here, so we're at a minus 2. Scorpio is a minus 2, so that's going to be negative 4. Bad Min is a plus 1, so that's a negative 3. And finally, Goldfish is a minus 1, so that's a negative 4. And we're going for zero strikes here. So we're going to swipe left, because hers is a negative score. If she had a positive score, we would swipe right. If she has a negative score, we swipe left. Okay. <clears throat> Next, I got 41, Leo, Cinema, and Cat. Well, for this one, okay, give me a second here. 41 is minus 1. Leo is plus 2, so we're at a 1. Cinema is right over here. That's a plus 1, so that's a 2. And I know Cat is a plus 3, so that's going to be a 5. Swipe right. Okay, last but not least, I have 24, Gemini, Badminton, and Hamster. So, for this one, okay, we got 24, that's a 2. So we're at a 2. Gemini is a minus 1, so we're at a 1. Badminton is a plus 1, so that's a 2. And finally, Hamster is a minus 2, so that's a 0. So I talked about positive number and negative number. What happens if it's a zero, Sean? And let me just double check if it's a zero here. So 24 plus two, Gemini minus one, so that's one. Badminton's two, and then finally hamsters minus two, so that's a zero. Yeah. So what happens at zero? So if the match right here if the match score is zero we're going to swipe right if the match's name has five or more letters so only in this rare coincidence at zero you're going to need the amount of letters of your match's name of course you can tell the diffuser okay if your match's name has five or more letters swipe right otherwise otherwise we're going to swipe left of course if they have four or fewer letters which is just the otherwise case so Emily has five letters, so we're going to swipe right. And finally, got our last thing, which is nine. You go to the saying, okay, uh, your pin is three, two, two, nine. And we're done. So, I talked about communication, how to work the module and whatnot. Let's see what happens if you get strikes. And I'm going to talk about an alternative way of doing this module. Well, it's not really an alternative. It's more like if you're low on time and you have strikes to spare. So, for this case, I have added, I have five strikes rather than the usual three. So, we're just going to go right ahead here. So, what happens if you strike in this? So, let's do this. We have, in this case, more birds than pigs. So, we're going to go to A. Uh, let's see. 
three batteries. Uh, no three batteries. Indicators? One, two. We have three indicators, so that's going to be E. And E lands us right over here. Uh, a yellow bird is on top of any pig? No. If a black bird is right of a red angry bird? No. If a white bird is present? Yes. So we're going to press the bottom right. So say if I press the top right, or top left in this case. So you get a strike, but nothing resets. So let's get that. So the score is out of four right now. Let's go to messages. Of course, you can't strike on messages in photos, but you can strike on the pins. So let's just grab these real fast. Uh, no, 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 it's, yeah. So that's going to be a zero. And not the, yes, okay, that's the composer. So that's going to be a four. And let's go to Tinder. So, you can actually strike on Tinder here. You can't strike on messages and photos because it's more like looking at the screen. But you can strike on Tinder. So, let's go through the rules here. We have 28, which is a plus 2. Uh, cancer, which is a plus 1. That's a 3. Uh, clubbing is a plus 2. So, by this point, I would stop there and be like, okay, swipe right. So, let's say if I say swipe left, and I'll be wrong. Oh, that's right. I forgot a rule because I didn't count the amount of strikes we have. <laughs> Silly me. So that was obviously a swipe left. <laughs> so here we have 41, which is a plus two. Make sure you have the right amount of strikes selected. Uh, 41 is a plus 2. Scorpio is a minus 1, so that's going to be a 1. Uh, clubbing is a minus 2, so that's negative 1. And pet gerbil is a plus 2, so that's a 1. So it should be a swipe right here now, and say I said swipe left. You get a strike, and then you get a new new customer. So be careful when you strike because now, well, if you get a strike, you still got to have to match three profiles consecutively to unlock the fourth digit. A mismatch will incur a strike and reset the current profile, as well as discounting any previous correct matches. So we got to do this entire thing over again. So for Kate, we got 18, which is a minus 2. Cancer is a t plus two, so that's a zero. Enjoys dancing, which is a minus two. Has a pet cat, which is a plus one, which is unfortunately still a minus one, so I got swipe left. Oh, and I did it again. I am so foolish today. I, excuse me, I, I keep forgetting about the strikes I'm getting. Okay, no more, no more strikes. We're obviously on, let's see, we already did two. This is the third strike right now. We're on three strikes. I can't strike anymore unless I have to go do another bomb. So, uh, Mary is 30. 30 is minus two. Uh, let's see, 30. Leo is... A minus one. I'm doing this slow now because I'm trying to be careful because I got two strikes on this thing. <gasps> so uh, I'm sorry. I'm really trying to think. So minus two. Leo's a minus one, so we're on negative three. Enjoys theater, which is a plus two, so that's a negative one. And has a pet dog is a minus two, so we got a swipe left, please. Thank you. All right, next up, we got Kate, which is 32, which is a minus two. Capricorn is minus one, so a negative three. Dancing is a plus three, so a zero. 
And hamster is a plus three, so we're gonna swipe right. And finally, Lisa is 37, which is a plus three. Seven, which is plus three. Cancer is a plus one, so we're out of four now. Badminton is a minus one, so we're at a three here. And I would say skip because there's no pets that go. So we'll do gerbil, which is a minus two, which is one, but we're gonna still swipe right. And we finally got our stuff. So our final answer is four zero four nine. So let's go back, go back to settings here. So say we misstep, we got four seven. Let's see, what happens if I log out and come back in? Ah, oh, you can't do that. Once someone starts entering it, it doesn't do that. And it looks like there's no backspace either, so you can't erase. So be careful when you type it in. For four, which is obviously the right answer, wrong answer. It just gives you a strike and you can enter the pin again. So four, zero, four, nine is the correct answer. And it won't strike you until you entered four numbers. Last but not least, with this last and final bomb. Last thing I want to check is this final page we have here. You may be assisted in your hunt for the pin by using the phone app to cheat. So we've never talked about this phone app right here, which allows you to dial up, which is actually a cheat system. You can dial the appropriate number followed by the hashtag, which is like this, to execute the cheat code. And you can't may not clear the screen after you've begun. So there's no backspace either here. And it won't give you a strike until you press the hashtag key, whether if the code is correct or wrong. So the pin digits will manifest themselves in different ways, but in each instance, you will need to return to the relevant app to see it. Your birds and terror will behave as though you solved this app. The messages will manifest the correct pin as an unread message, and the photos will mark the correct image with a green LED. So, now, this depends on which number you're talking about. So, if the serial number contains a vowel or not. F M S N. That doesn't look like a vowel, so it does not contain a vowel. So, for Angry Birds, we'd have to type in 43892 in the hashtag. And it gives us a straight. Now, if we go back to Angry Birds, you see it's magically solved. And we haven't worked on any of these. In Tinder. So let's try this again with messages, which is one, five, three, nine, seven, three, nine, seven. So I'm going to press hashtag again. And we're going to go through messages. And there you go. You see the next message. So let's record this. We have five, five. Messages is an eight, as you can see here. Let's go back here, and we'll type in the rest as we see it. So uh, seven, nine, four, three, one. That looks right. And two, one, four, eight, six. And let's see. Photos it says it will mark it with a green LED. As you can see, a green LED, which is the composer. Composer is four. And finally, Tinder is seven. So we enter the pen five, eight, four, seven. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and until then, keep talking, check your messages, play some Angry Birds, get that correct photo, and most importantly, make sure you got the right date, and don't explode.